Yes. Yeah, I agree with Christianity um, kind of being a dead religion, um, and I also think um, agree with Mr. Rashid. Let, well, let, let me straighten that one. Let's before you go, then you speak on. Okay. Don't don't say kind of dead. If something is dead, it's dead. Yeah. Okay. You can't be, a woman can be kind of pregnant, can she? If she's no, pregnant, she she's pregnant. She can't be kind of pregnant. Yeah. So if religion is dead, just say it, man, it's dead. Okay, yeah, it's dead, you <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. I'm sorry, brother. Call back, brother. Call back. Yes. Yeah, you didn't hang up on me. I'm still here. I'm fucker. <laughs> that was the same guy? Yes. Yeah, it seems like whenever a caller um, calls in and disagrees with you guys, you always seem to hang up on them right away. Right right away. It all depends on what they disagree about. Pardon me? If someone comes in here and says, we say saying two and two is four, they say, no, two and two is three, we'll hang up on it right away. No, you're just... No, no, we'll hang up on it right away because two and two is well, four. They have so a point to prove, so though, it's, not a, it's, it's not a matter of opinion. A good call. It's not a matter of opinion. When we're saying something, okay, you can say what you want to say, but have based upon some kind of common sense. I see. Okay, say what you want. We we'll have some um, common sense to it. Don't say a lot of foolishness. It's that way because we want it to be that way. It's not that way because you want it to be that way. It's that way because it's a fact or not a fact. How would it be a foolish thing to say, um, lick my ass? Yes. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm thinking of converting. Um, right now I'm Catholic, but I'm thinking of converting. Um, the reason is because uh, the Catholic religion uh, frowns upon masturbation. And... Next caller. Yes. I love masturbating. Yes. Yeah, um, i just like to say you guys got a great show. It's uh, real positive, and uh, go fuck yourself. Yes. Yes, that caller that called, um, disagreeing with with Mr. Rashid, um, if, if he's going to call up, he better have some valid points. Um, he's in the head. That's right. And he can suck a cock. See, I did it. See, all these people with that tone of voice are, are all helpless. Yes? Yes, I agree with you about the uh, the devil and God. This is not a heckler. Uh, with, <laughs> I mean, uh, how... Are you a heckler? No, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, how, man, that guy's uh, How could God be the devil? Fuck you! Are you a heckler? You a heckler, man. Yes? Yes, a man cannot be God, and a woman sucks cock. Yes. Yeah, I was just wondering, uh, do you lick balls? Yes. Mama licking, brother. Do I stop? Yes, uh, I have been a Muslim for about three years now, and you were talking about the differences between your right hand and your left hand before. Right. Uh, I feel that has been something very important in my life because uh, I feel that's a pathway. Allah sent me the message because ever since I was a little boy, I would always say, for instance, with my right hand, I would eat my food, brush my teeth, and then with my left hand, I would jerk off and wipe my ass. Yes. Eat my cock, motherfucker. Yes. yes. How big are your balls? Okay, Mr. Rashid. Are they ready for the truth? Yes, they're ready for it. These simpletons that's calling, they're not ready for nothing. I mean... We have described them as being the fifth lover, so what they're saying is no more than what we have said, so they're only just showing what they're saying to be true. Really, that they're filth lovers, right? They're not filth lovers. Right? Filth lovers. That's, and that's what, what they are. And what, how do they hurt us? Because they love filth. <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> we don't need to give any time to that mess, do we? It's just so sad for the people who want to hear. Right. They got to hear that. you, bitches. But the thing about what I really what, what I really don't understand by, by by these nuts is that why would they sit there for a whole hour and do this? No, not, they don't do nothing. Right. They get off maybe one word for a whole hour. A whole hour. They're sitting there, but they're not fooling me. Yes. All right, guys. Uh, I too am disgusted with the filth of these people calling up. I'm not Muslim. Are you, a, are you a heckler? What do you mean? You're not, you're not a heckler. Keep on talking, man. Keep Go ahead, on. keep talking. Um, I mean, it's not right for... Because I, I don't agree with everything you guys say, but I don't call up 
and say all this filth, foreign filth to you guys. Um, fuck my ass, bitch. That's supposed to be something clever. You know, know what these people are? They best tired of they are filth lovers. They love filth. And they think the more filth they hear, the more filth they say, the more they enjoy it. They're just a bunch of people who loves filth. And we don't love filth. Yes? I am filth. Fuck you. We, we're talking about deliverance. See, I'm talking, so many people out there are captives. And I'm talking about homosexual lifestyles. I was delivered from something like that. Yeah. See, see, I was delivered from something like that 12 years ago. I was a prostitute for over 30 years. I sold my body on the street corners. Hallelujah. But Thank God you. saved me, sanctified me. Right. I was stabbed, Thank miss. You. I've been cut through my lifestyle. So many people are going through abuse like that right. now. Yes, yes. See, I can talk about that sin. Right. Hallelujah. Because, see, I was wrapped up, tied up, tangled Thank up. You. And I loved That's it when good. I was doing it. Thank Hallelujah. You. But, That's see, just... God mm -hmm. set me free. Thank Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God came in and washed me. Yes. Hallelujah, God came and purged me. Hallelujah, God made me get it the old-fashioned way. Hallelujah, then God said, I'll show you a more excellent way. Hallelujah. You don't have to do that. You don't have to stand on 27th Street. You don't have to stand on under the little shop. You don't have to stand on Wisconsin Avenue. You don't have to prostitute to your body. You just turn your soul unto me and I'll use you. Hallelujah. Hey, I used to shake on the dance floors. Hallelujah, I used to be a strip and a go-go dancer. Hallelujah, but now I can shake for right, Jesus. Up under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Suck my cock, bitches. God bless you. Yes, you need to be washed in the blood That's today. Right. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. You know what, though? And people with mouths like that, you know what, though? They really need to be washed. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Kick my balls. <laughs> Season for me to keep tying up the lines. You. Praise the Lord. God, hello. God bless you. Hello. Yes. Hi. I was had a couple of comments about some of the other callers. Yes. And I just think that it's absolutely crazy when they're calling in talking crazy. <laughs> Praise what the Lord. I to say is the Lord led me to good health, good riches, and He gave me a big penis to please the ladies. Oh God. <laughs> well, my dick, motherfucker. I love you. God bless you. God bless you. The Lord gave me a big penis. Uh, a big one. Well, you better use it right. Jesus. Bless hotline. Yeah, man. Um, I was calling because I need some tips on how to be a player. Okay. Check this out. <clears throat> First of all, I'm going to show you some tips on how to be a player. You got to be suave on there. You got to get you some rings. You got to get you an afro pick. You got wait, that... wait, wait, wait. What kind of ring do I have to get? Because I have a cock ring. Is that going to work? Oh. What, uh, what kind of ring? A cock ring. You never heard of that? No, what kind of ring is that? Okay, it goes around your... Oh, my God. Why did he say that? He could have said a cock pit, a cock loose trainer or something. Hey man, you hung up on me before you could uh, tell me how to be a player. Oh, my fault, my fault. It seems like... I think it's because I used uh, the C word for, for the PP. you know what I mean? No, uh, okay, I understand what you mean. Um, if you don't want me to, I I'll try to clean up my language if you want. Please! Okay. Clean up your language, don't you know we got children watching this channel? Okay, it's... The, that ring that I was telling you about? Yes! Goes around your penis and your... You know you can't say penis! Players out like can I help ya? Hey Rudy, how's it going? Oh, it's going good, baby, being a true player, helping out all the people out there who need information on how to be a, a player. Hey Rudy, uh, my name is Kip and I'm a true player. I'm a, I'm the biggest player honky in the world. What? Do you mean to tell me? Did you ever hear of me? There are white players? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh. There are white players? Yeah. Oh, my God. I salute you. Man. I didn't think you guys know anything about playing. Oh, you better believe it, dog. You walking around with that flat button and... Rico, man. What? what I'm saying. Will you go, player? Oh, a little song. Huh? He's a true player. <laughs> hey, that's a true player. I'll talk to you later, player. Peace. Let me see your chocolate cock. Oh. <laughs> Call <on! laughs>
Yo, Les Roy, what's up? Yo, what's up, baby? Hey, this is the molester. I'd like to give a shout out to all my players at the Players Palace. Um, what's up to Sideshow? What's up to Rolly? What's up to Whirly? What's oh. up to Mustache Man? Yo, what's up to Pot Roast. Yo, 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 yo the true player. Yo, Rudy. Yo. I just like to say your show is real good, and uh, we all got big cocks and. Oh, call up one. What's up? I I wanted to tell you who the biggest player on Mata is. That would be Double D from the Pro Wrestling Report. <laughs> well, check this out. Check this out, player. Do you know what's up with Double D? I know what's up with Double D. He gets all the guys. <laughs> and they like to put on their bikini face and wrestle around with each other. <laughs> but check this out, player. But check this out. Ain't nothing wrong with wrestling. Men getting together, competing, sweating. You know what I'm saying? Showing up for the ladies. Double D like to show up for the ladies. They, well, you... they rub butter all over each other's nipples. Oh. <laughs> I'll be talking about my boy, pro wrestling before he rules. Call her, I gotta let you go because you can't be playing like that on the boys. You're on the pro wrestling report. Hey, uh, what'd you say happened to the Macho Man? He injured his ankle last night in Madison at the shotgun, at the uh, WCW Saturday night tapings. Um, they haven't made any announcements about his condition or anything yet. I just heard about it today, so I don't know if he's going to be able to compete in the future, in, in the near future, but he did sustain an ankle injury last night. Okay, suck my balls, man. You're on the pro wrestling report. Yeah, um, if I have a question about WrestleMania. Yes, sir. Did uh, Mike Tyson get punched in the cock? No, he didn't. Oh, okay, thanks. No problem. You're on the Pro Wrestling Report. I was watching, and I thought he did get punched in the cock. Well, you know, those of you who are calling, uh, you little high school and college punks who uh, are calling, trying to get over so your friends can hear you on TV, if you have a, such a small... Um, 15 seconds of fame. Yeah. Hey, problem. whatever. Fine. We're here to put on a show for wrestling fans and give those wrestling fans a chance to call. You're on the Pro Wrestling Report. Hi. A lot of my friends don't think that I should watch pro wrestling because it's very violent okay and um i i try to uh tell them that it isn't violent that it's just like staged because they don't really know and it's okay for them not to know because i know so it's sports entertainment exactly it's a controlled and situation premeditated outcome and i was there and i seen mike tyson get punched in the cock. <laughs> okay a lot of people seem to have a fetish with that part of Mike Tyson's yeah. body. It's good. You're on the Pro Wrestling Report. Yeah, I'd like to say to all the people calling up acting crazy, saying that stuff, you know, that's not right. There's some people out here, we like wrestling. Mm -hmm. uh, we take it seriously because it's a good sport. Exactly. And uh, why don't you suck my ass? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how do you become a uh, professional wrestler? Because, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty big guy. I want to do it. I used to wrestle in high school. Uh, I got my own move. It's called the cock blocker. Okay. I pick you up. I think these guys will be related. Huh? Yeah. You're on the pro wrestling report. Yeah. Um. A, a match that I'd like to see is uh, Stone Cold versus um, Hulk Hogan in a dumpster match. But uh, instead, give them like chainsaws to saw each other's cock off. Okay. You you have yourself a nice day. Thanks for calling over and over again and try to make it look like there are many people calling being jerks like you. Pro wrestling report. Hey, I don't know the answer to the question, but uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake was the best wrestler ever. He was? Yeah, he put him in the sleeper and slap around their nuts. Okay. You, you <laughs> Same guy. No, I don't know. Um, anybody got answers to the trivia question, what was the location that the first Hell in a Cell, the first and only Hell in a Cell match was held? We got about two and a half minutes left in the program. You're on the Pro Wrestling Report. I know the answer to that question. Go ahead. Uh, Mike Tyson's <laughs> All right. Um. Hello, you're on the air. Yes, I have a question. Uh, when is Harley Fest again? Uh, it's not called Harley Fest. What uh, is it called? Hmm. It's the Harley Reunion. It's the 95th birthday party for Harley Davidson. And it uh, formally begins on Tuesday, June 9th, with the rides coming from all over the United States arriving in Milwaukee on that afternoon. 
It will last through the 13th. The big birthday party is at Summerfest on Saturday the 13th and at Veterans Park just north of the Summerfest grounds. Okay, and um, sir, I just would like to say that you have a very large wiener. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, I was wondering how um, expensive a Harley Davidson would be to get um, like a used one, a smaller one. The used ones probably would run between three and six or seven thousand dollars for a smaller bike. The new bike price would be somewhere in the area of five to six thousand dollars for the 883 and up to ten thousand for the 1200. Oh wow. Is that how much you charge for a blow job? Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Harley riding because I love how it vibrates my testicles. And I like to jack off and uh, masturbate for hours. I do. I'm sorry. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, I had a Harley Davidson once and I, I dumped it over and I broke the handlebars off it and then I shoved them up my ass. <laughs> Where did he hit to get. Well, oh, you did it over there. Off. Hello, you're on the air. Motorcycle riding is the best fun I've ever had besides master. Oh, yeah. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, uh, I, was, I like to ride around my Harley all the time and this year. I went to the, to the fest five years ago. Uh, this year, I'm probably going to go uh, dressed up a little bit, maybe some crotchless chaps uh, showing my ass and cock to everybody. Um, it's a uh, Harley reunion, not a freak show. Hello? Hey, how you doing? I wanted to tell you about a... a I rode on a motorcycle one time. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Oh. Just to feel all that power, you know, the control you got. And uh, it really vibrates your nuts. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, I had a question for Courtney. Yeah? Uh, how come you're not wearing that, that uh, same blue v-neck shirt that you wear all the time? Because it got boring, and I didn't want to wear it all the time. Oh, and, but, uh, and I'd also like to say, Angel, you didn't disappoint me. Uh, you're wearing the same clothes, too, you dirty bitch. Fuck you. Hello, you're on the air. Yes, I agree with the caller before about um, people calling and being perverts. Um, I don't appreciate that because I have kids watching too. And like my man Potty Mouth says, cock shit, pussy fuck, asshole, dick, lick, fuck, shit. That's intelligent. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, you're on the air. That caller calling up saying, hello, 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 man, that's stupid. Thank you. At least say something funny like, you fat bitch, fuck you. Look at this. I'd like it. You know, you guys do such a great job on TV. And it does upset me when these phone, these callers call in. But I just want to ask the callers if, before you call in with the obscene words and that kind of thing, if you would just think, what if your sisters or mother or brother were on the show? Would you want them to be put in that kind of position, okay? You're on the air. Yes, hello, I agree with the um, caller about um, how other callers are calling in and being very rude, but um, also that caller before, she can go fuck herself because I'd like to slap her tits up. All right, we're talking about uh, shit Mr. Clinton resigned after his uh, inappropriate uh, uh, sex act. Uh, should he resign or should he stay in office? Let me talk about you on that. You think Mr. Clinton should resign or remain in office? Well, I don't know if, if Clinton can be um, trusted anymore. Um, well, he I hasn't the, changed. The me? country's still in good shape. So what do you mean, can trust well, him? I don't know. Did I you mean, trust President Clinton? Pardon me? Did, I'm, I'm pardon me. Did you trust uh, uh, John F. Kennedy? Did That's I, all he did, man. Well. <laughs> Nobody said nothing. Yeah, but at least he was... Um, he, he at least what? At least he was with some better looking ladies. Oh, well now, that's uh, to uh, personal choice, how they look. i grant you some of that. Uh, he had women better looking than uh, Monica Lewinsky, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean Marilyn Monroe, come on. Yeah, Marilyn Mon Monroe, she was Hollywood star, right? Um, I just, I just pray to God that um, he at least fucked her in the ass. Let me talk live, you on air. This whole Clinton thing never would have happened if 
women were not such little tramps, those little cocksuckers. Oh, they God, like to, man. <laughs> Let me talk about you on that. Yeah, I think Clinton should uh, stay in office, you know. You do? You should just uh, keep on fucking away. Okay. Let me talk live, you on there. Yo, Clinton, his balls are big. So uh, okay, lad, it's lit up. But we're getting a lot of sick people that are calling. Uh, no reason. Uh, they're obsessed with sex. So, Mr. Clinton, they said, come out and tell us the truth. If he had told them the truth in January, they'd have still been sick. So he told them the truth, they still sick. I wouldn't have told him nothing. I would tell him, go jump in the lake. Hey, ask me about my sex life. And I would tell you to jump in the lake. Slummy Talk Live, you on there. Come on, everybody. Leave Clinton alone. He's a good guy. I mean... Well, I don't know nothing against him. Oh, jeez. I mean, this is his private life. Or right. Everybody oh. should have a right to the privacy in their own bedroom. Exactly. Everyone's got skeletons. Closet. That's right. Nobody's perfect. The Bible said all of us come up short, so none of us can judge by our standards. We can judge by the way God said judge. I Only. agree. I agree, brother. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you I, for I telling me. I hope the truth. he sprayed his cum all over. Okay. Thank you for calling. Clinton is nothing but a little whore. He, um, fucks all the put. Just let me talk live. You on there. Um, I think it's all right with, with Clinton and everything. He should stay in office, and uh, I think it's okay what he did because um, I've been... Well, um, well, maybe I may not approve of anything that is wrong. The Holy Quran said enjoying all that is good and forbid all that is bad. But I'm talking about yeah. these people, they're not clean enough to judge him. He's well, probably the best out there. It's, I mean, what he did, you know, it's mm. all... He, it's all in the past. And we wouldn't have known nothing about it if this girl hadn't been wired up. <laughs> um, you wire up anybody and go in their bedroom, you're going to get something. And we don't want to know about it. Yeah, exactly. So we and cannot forgive you for bringing our information that we don't want. It's, it's okay. Um, that That's not a, a appropriate, nor do we approve of it. It's, it's all right that he did that because I've been fucking Hillary. Man, these some sick people. And you think they would judge Mr. Clinton? The Republican clonies are the sickiest, meaniest people in the world today to judge another man for his private life. I don't care about your private life, nor do I want to know. So let me talk live, you on there. Yeah, Clinton should uh, get out of office and just get his cocks up. You know, uh, See, uh, these people who uh, is hating Mr. Clinton are really somebody who is really sick. <laughs> Anybody who would hate a person without a call is the meaniest person on this planet Earth. And believe it or not, there is a God. You see, uh, this is my subject. Uh, condom is being given to our children. And they say that it will prevent them from disease and uh, pregnancy. But I'm saying it, it, it only motivates them to have sex. We'll see what this person wants. Islamic Talk Live, you on the air? Hey, yep. uh, you're talking about condoms, huh? Oh, yes. Yeah. I hate condoms, I'll tell you that. Uh, I used them a couple of times. But, but so I just don't like them because it's, it's not right. As I usually what I do is I just like to pull out and shoot my load on their tits and their but not, face. Don't be so silly, man. I'm I'm just telling look, you. My you don't have to be condom. look, you don't have to be that sick. I'm not talking about condom for your pleasure. I'm talking about condom is the reason they offer these condom to our children so that they don't catch disease, gonorrhea, AIDS and what they think and get girls pregnant. But like you say, you're telling the truth even though you wants to get nasty. Can you stay clean? Hey, I'm, I'm a nasty, I'm a nasty. No, 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 no. See, what, did you have a parent? The what? Did you have a mother? Yeah. Well, you know, were you raised by animals or human beings? I have to ask you that because you started off acting like an animal. 
I think you're crazy. It's Lemmy Talk Live, you in there. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing fine. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, uh... Are you a heckler? No, on your shirt there, you missed a button. <laughs> okay, let me button no, it up. Hey, uh, no. Thank you. Hey, you, you okay. Go ahead. Um, now, can you stay like that? Oh, sure. Uh -huh. Hey, it looks a lot better. Uh, okay, you thank you. Off and show us your nipples. You know, there's no reason that people have to get on the air and prove that they are the most sickest person in the world. <coughs> right? Yeah. All right, thank you for calling. Yeah. Let me talk live, you on there. Yeah, um, I think that all kids should get condoms because um, if I would have got condoms when I was like a year ago, um, then I wouldn't have a kid. There's nothing I'm wrong. Well, 13 you, years old, and you, I have a kid. You was how old? 13. Now I'm... Well, wait a minute now. Now, let's talk. Uh, can you can you stay uh, numb for a minute? Okay. Okay, don't go crazy on me now. Okay. Because I'm going to just cut you off. So, But if you okay. want to talk, I'm going to keep you on. Okay. I want to talk with, with okay. you. Okay. Now, you started having sex at 13. Uh, 11. You barely reached puberty. Uh, I didn't have any pubes yet. Then you were just playing with sex. Yeah. Because they they should have uh, not allowed you to be around girls. Oh, you you you're a dangerous around girls. You can mess their uh, body up. Oh, I never hit them. No 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 no. Look, the girl is not mature. Nor was you. Oh, uh, she you, was seventeen. She was seventeen. Yeah. And you was big enough to have her. <laughs> they say I got a big one. Well, you see, when I was in service, uh, it's true that most white boys had a small one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, very small. What? Ooh, so you were looking at the white man's wiener. Oh, wiener. well, I was in the in the shower, taking a shower with them, you know. Oh, so you are looking at their wiener. So it didn't look like they had nothing to do nothing with. Oh, yeah? Um, what about the black guys? Well, because, see, black guy wasn't having sex at no 13 then. What does that have to do about the size of their wiener? Well, it, has, it has a lot to do no, with it. It's, it's immature. I heard they're big. Well, you, you didn't. You don't know, do you? No, I. I want. I want to see one. Okay. Show me yours. Well, you just keep going in public's bathroom and just every time you see a black guy go in the in the, the you the bathroom, go stick your head there and look. Do you have any bathrooms? <laughs> you see, all of them called in with having sex at 11, 12 years old. They was they had not even reached puberty. They were wore out with sex. And now they don't know what to do with it. Now when they've grown old enough, they just talk with their, they have sex with their mouth. And you're not supposed to have sex with your mouth. Your mouth was made to eat and talk. Just let me talk live, you on there? Yeah, I'm watching the show with my children. And I don't appreciate all these people calling up, you know, talking about this, this and that, and suck this and... I know what you're saying. You know, my kids, I don't want them talking that language. That's crazy talk. And when, so you, it's good that you are there, and you are so right. So when you hear people that are sick, you should print it out to your kids. Say, now, you hear those grown people? They wasn't real, right? Those people are disgusting. And, and, and God going to wipe them off the face of the earth. That's what uh, he certainly is. Roman, uh, the first and second chapter, he said, when they knew better, for 200 years, this country had moral. They would not allow a woman to walk out uh, in the streets without some clothes on. She could even go to church without a hat on her head. I wonder if any women out there remember that. Yes, can, can my son talk to you? Yes, let me talk to you. Son. To talk to you. Okay, let me talk to you. Son. Hold on a minute. Okay. Yeah. Come here. I hope he stays decent. Hope his son Hello? is decent. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Am I on TV? <laughs> Where are you talking? What's your name? Jerome. 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 How old are you? Ten. Ten. Um. Do you believe 10 years old children should be given condom? What's a condor? I'm glad you don't know. You don't need to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, nice talking to you, okay? Thank you. Okay, I figured you wouldn't last long. Just let me talk live, you're there. I believe that children are...
Let me talk loud, you on there. Teach them well and let them leave. Okay. Well, for the last 30 years, this country has produced a very sick society. And Christian people, you do need to come out and look at your production. And Slummy Talk Live, you on there. Show them all the beauty they put. And Slummy Talk Live, you on there. They possess inside. Okay. Okay, so let me talk live you on the air. Keep your language clean if you can. I know it's hard if you were, wasn't raised right. Man, I keep my language clean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's up? So, I'm 17 years old. I'm in high school right now. Mm-hmm. What's the name of your high school? Washington. Washington High? Yeah. Is that a good school? I like it. You know, I got a lot of homies there. You know, we be kicking it and stuff. You got a lot of what? Yeah. Home There's a lot of fly hoes there, too. You know what I'm saying? But, uh... So they give out condoms, right? And, uh, you know, I'll be like, oh, hey, now I don't have to pay, you know, I, I, I don't have to pay for them, so maybe I might use them. Well, they should. Because they come in free, so that means, you know, hey, sex is free, right? That's a waste of taxpayers' money. Don't hey, you man, think so? Any, anytime I can get something for free, I'll take it, you know? Well, something free can be ace, you know. Well, you know, no, nah, you got to pay for that, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... <laughs> Well, having sex, uh, 20 children a day are born with AIDS. Okay, you're my last call. I want to thank everybody for calling in. Tune in Sunday and Monday. Okay, suck my balls. As-salamu alaykum. Caller, you on the air? Hello? Hi. What, what'd you say? I'm, I'm what? You're on the air. You're live. <laughs> is this like a TV show, dude? I think I got the wrong... Yes, it is. You're on TV live right now. Really, dude? Yeah, you got any shout-outs you want to get anybody? What are you guys talking about, man? Um, have you ever tried to juggle two relationships at once? How many? Two. Or more. More. Oh, uh, yeah? How'd it yeah. turn out? What? How'd it turn out? <laughs> I got kicked in the nuggets, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, the fucking nuggets, man. She All was, right. Oh, the need of the nuggets, man. Oh, okay. Dude, I was like... Oh, okay, hey you, be, hey, you be more careful out there, though, all right? All right, man. All right, all right thanks for calling. Thanks for answering. All right. Okay, great. man. Bye-bye. All right. Hi, this is uh, Big A here. I want to give a shout-out to my goddaughter, Ashley B. What's up? I also want to give a shout-out to my three kids. That's Trey, Lily, and Nat. And all my other nieces and nephews out there, what's up? Big A, say what's up? All right, Dan, you're going to get some shout-outs. Yeah, I'm going to give some shout-outs to some people out there in the hood. Um, Uncle Sonny's. What's up, Rick Rick? Okay. And everybody else out there that's watching the show in Milwaukee. Okay. Let Milwaukee keep rolling. Let us get on the map. Yeah. Call it, you on the air? Yeah, I've been watching the show, right, and I can't stop looking at Big A. Hey, what's up? Right. Baby, uh, you got a man? I'm sorry, I sure do. Oh, come on now. Why don't you juggle with me? <laughs> Well, I don't believe in juggling more than one, oh, baby. but uh, you can you can uh, call me at the fan club. How old are you anyway, baby? You look good. How do you think I am? Oh, uh, I'm just no more than 26. Oh, hey, right. well, thank you, but you know a lady never tells her age. Oh, you got some beautiful lips, though, baby. Ooh, that's that brush that's around my cock. All right. Okay, all righty then. Go to the next caller. <laughs> caller, you on the air? Hey, what's up there, Team Moore? Hey, how's it going? All right. All, all right. right. Let me tell you something. I got relationships all over the place, man. I got girls all over. I got guys, too, man. I don't care what it is. All right. Have you ever tried to juggle um, more than two? Oh, yeah, man. I'm doing it uh, all the time. I always got at least five or six of them. But, uh, you know, the, then sometimes I be getting the names confused. Oh, uh, uh, that got to be a problem there, don't it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, T-1. All right. Um, do you ever, have you ever got in some trouble with it? Has anybody ever tried to cut you up or something? Oh, man, I don't listen to them, man. I'm just trying to blow my load, that's all. All right. All right. Oh, why don't you show us your nipples there? All right. Um, I got a woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You have a nice one, though. Yeah. All right. I bet you. Carly, you on the air? Hey, Timor and Love Jones. How's it going? Great. It's going all right. Um, I want to tell you about one time. Okay. I was juggling on my boyfriend, and oh, okay. I was getting a little something, something on the side. Okay. All right. He followed me one night. All right. Came up to this guy's house rang the doorbell, he came in, 
crazed. He was like a madman. He stuck his foot right up this guy's dirty oh, shoe. Okay. <laughs> it was it was crazy. And then he started slapping me like a bitch. Oh, I gotta let you go. I, Thanks for calling. I said I said I'm. Right, I gotta go though. I, Call you on there. I was juggling about three girls last week. And uh, this one girl, she caught me in bed with the other one. Okay. Oh, okay. And uh, what ended up, she uh, she started throwing her shoes at me and stuff, you know. Okay. Crazy throwing stuff, throwing mm -hmm. things at me, and uh, she started beating me upside the head. Okay. Around. All right. Uh, but what happened, I just found out I got a nice case of the crabs for me. Uh-oh. Yeah, so uh, I think I'm going to go slap that bitch. Oh, okay. I got to let you go. My partner, make sure you use that shampoo, though. <laughs> Get rid of my eye. <laughs> We're going back to the line. Oh, man. Carly, you on the air? Hey, man, I hit redial, because what are you guys talking about now? Same old, same old. Same old, same old. Yeah, ain't nothing changed. Have you ever tried to juggle two relationships at once? Yeah. All right, you just told us about one, too, didn't you? Yeah, she kicked me in the nuggets, dude. Another all right, all right. Me. Hey, we got to go to another line, though, all right? Don't stab me in the... All right. <laughs> Carly, you on the air? Hello. Hi. Hey. Yes, uh, I'm an older man, but uh, back in my day, okay, they have all the bitches. Okay. <laughs> Carly, you on the air? Oh, hey, how you doing? Uh -huh. Hey, how you doing? Uh, one time I was, you know, I was trying to juggle this, uh, two girls. Okay. Right. Right. I got a girl back in my place. Uh, didn't think my girlfriend was coming over because I thought she was at work. She mm. comes on right. over. You know, I'm getting busy. Uh, she she walks right into the room, and uh, you know, I'm right in the act, and uh. Next thing you know, she's taking off her clothes, and we got some double dorking going on. Okay. And I was like, Are you a player? Play up. Play up. What? <laughs> You're a player, man. That's what it is, player. Call you on the air. Hey, Timor, is it true what they say about black man? I don't know. You got to um, probably catch them out there. I don't know what they say. Had a black man. <laughs> We're going to another line. Call you on the air. Timor, I want to come down there and lick the... <laughs> Call you on the air. All right, first thing I'd like to say is to that one caller, black men, it's definitely true. Um, okay. I had one. Okay. She was hung like a rhino. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to another line. Caller, you on the air? Hey, what's up there, man? Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, I bet you got a big cock. <laughs> hey, all y'all out there that want to play games, take y'all, you know, and Clean up your house. Call Carly, you on the air. Hi, how are you? Hi, right. how are you? <laughs> I should have had a joke show, huh? Because everybody takes this show as a joke now. Oh, wow. These are some serious things going on in the world for your entertainment only. Okay. You know, if you don't uh, want to have nothing positive to say or something about the show, please turn your station to something that might interest you. Okay. They do have Nickelodeon. They have cartoons for you people that want to be childish on the air. I have a, a piece of viewer mail, and um, if we could get to it. And this was sent to us by, let me see one of these things here. This, okay, I got it. Hello. Sorry. Hello, gentlemen. I was wondering if you three would donate some of your pubic hair. You see, I'm making a pubic hair quilt out of pubes I find off of public toilets. Will you donate? Signed, Angela Wise, Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Uh, I'll donate. First letter, hey Mitch, wanted to start off by telling you how rad your show is. How rad your show is, that, that's radical, isn't that, is that a skateboarder's word? How rad your show is. Every Thursday at 8.28, the blood starts flowing to my meat, and I feel the need to slap around the old sausage. I think sometime you should have a girl on the show and give, uh, give her a pickle or a popsicle to smoke. To me, there's nothing like a good beef smoking and a nice long schmeg uh, lick on the Lebowski's. It really sucks that you guys have restrictions. I thought you could do whatever you wanted on public access. Keep up the good work. And this is from Roly. Here are some of my best pubic hairs. Please send them to the viewer who is making the pubic hair quilt. Thanks again. Roly. Now, I, I know that we do have a lot of stuff going on here, but we need to show that, that this guy might have a little brain damage. He might be a troubled soul. 
Can you, uh, can Steve, can you put that up to the camera? I'm not touching Touch that Touch the letter. top I'm of the not letter. I'm touching that letter. There you go. Grab this letter like I this. I'm touching that. Come on, you damn homo. Look at him. You, you, hey, you jerk off probably every other day and you're afraid to touch somebody's pubics? That infrequently now? Well, that's not a bad, can you, can you get a shot? Those are real, ladies and gentlemen, focus it, there you go. Those are real pubic hairs taped to a letter sent in to the TV show. And I know that somebody did say they were, they were going to make a quilt out of pubic hairs, but I am surprised and, and almost shocked that this young fellow was... Dick, nasty. He is rigging nasty. This smells funny too. I don't I don't go for that letter. Alright, okay, second letter sent in from uh, some other freak. Mitch Terry and Poetry Cat. What's up, fellas? It's the molester. I have a few things on my mind. I'm not very happy about. What's up with the public access people telling you guys what you can and cannot do and say on your show? If I'm not mistaken, it's cable TV, and I don't see what the problem is. Well, we don't either. But I think we, we, we do realize we have to work under some restrictions, Billy. Is that, Unfortunately, that's the case. I mean, it's, it, it, is, it is kind of a, kind of a, a free-for-all sometimes, but we do have some restrictions. It gets political. It gets a little political down here at Matta. Sure. Okay, uh, it's all right to have ten shows for all the Jesus freaks out there, but as soon as somebody wants to show some melons, it's a big problem. Did you say melons? He said melons right in here. I can't, I can't believe it myself. Anyway, that's all the bitching I have. And he sent some phase two. Uh, now, is this a, what is this, a band? Do you yeah, think this think is a group? Band, this is some kind of a new wave. If you listen to phase two, you may hate, you may end up hating your parents and wanting to kill them. So I, I'm not for phase two, but that's just my opinion. Are they like a Satan worshiping group? Um, I don't know. I, it could be some kind of double rock. Hello, this is the Mighty Molester again. I like to touch girls where it's scary and lick where it's rhymes with scary. This past weekend has been very productive for the Molester. I put on my 10-gallon hat, my leather chaps, and put on a snapping turtle on my sack for good measure. So, <laughs> I don't even know why we're reading this one now that I started, but I have to I was laughing. It. You can write this at Mitch TV, right there. Okay. I hit the town with the crew. We went down to Water Street and seen some of the hottest stinkers. I sniffed a couple of seats and finally picked up a young honey who goes by the name of Bitch Face. <laughs> this is a real letter, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I took her back to the pad and made her give my sausage link a tongue bath after giving uh, her a testicle goatee. I don't... <laughs> I, I don't... I'm... Oh, it's creative use of language. Go ahead, bro. You roll it. Just look. I hose down, I heard, I passed, uh... Out to my man, Rolly. Okay. Yeah, that's a long letter. And he kicked her in the stink wagon and called it a night. <laughs> <laughs> Love the show, keep up the good work, the molester. By the way, Phase 2 is not a death metal band, it's a skateboard shop where the employees like to see sex out in front of the store. <laughs> Especially Sideshow and Mark. Um, this so, guy has to address he's troubled. you poor he's, soul. He's a troubled soul. But he's a nice guy, though. Yeah. I understand. Howdy, boys. How's the, the stones hanging? It's the molester once again. I like girls named Donna who smoke the beef like marijuana. Aye. I enjoyed last week's show when you were talking about sluts, whores, and suck holes. Sluts Aye. are my main preference when it comes to girls because they always let me check out the flappy slice. And in 1998, Aye. it's all about putting the plumper in the dumper. As long as the slut plays solo flex with my Jimbo, the molester is a happy boy. I'm trying to hook up a job at the airport lounge. If I get the job, I will be in charge of sniffing the poles that the ladies twirl around on. Aye. After sniffing I have to lick the donkey juice off the pole from the girls' tinklers. If I get the gig, I will definitely get you guys in for free. I got it here in writing, and maybe even hook you up with those tramps, because after all, strippers are nothing but garbage with wind tunnels. Hey, molested is that what Is that what he wrote? Strippers are nothing but garbage? With wind tunnels. The strippers make the world go round, don't you think? 